Last 110 years, the Benedictine Sisters of St. Wahlberg Monastery have lived on a beautiful hilltop, what is now Villa Hills. They aren't moving, but they have decided that they don't need all the land. They're looking to sell some of it. So Local 12's Joe Webb joins us now live from the property. Joe, I understand we we're talking about a big piece of prime real estate here. Yeah, Brad, this is 82 acres on bluffs overlooking the Ohio River in the middle of a northern Kentucky bedroom community. It served the Benedictine sisters well over the years. But years ago, the older sisters out here referred to the land as their retirement. And it looks like they knew what they were talking about. You may be familiar with the property on Amsterdam Road where Villa Madonna Academy and St. Walberg Monastery have sat for generations. But a narrow road from there leads west to 82 adjacent acres of grass, wildlife, and wildflowers. The Benedictine sisters have owned it since 1928. Two sisters live in a pre-Civil War home on the acreage. It once had cattle up here, but for 50 years or so, it's just sat idle. It's being used as a lovely green space. <laughs> and um, we do have people who come and mow and use bale, bale, the bale the hay. Uh, but it really is not being used at this point by us. 47 sisters are currently in residence in St. Walberg. Their order is aging, and as stewards of the land, they are taking a big step. Our interest right now is in going through the process of rezoning the property so that it becomes a, a more useful for us as we move forward, um, eventually to help fund our own retirement needs. The property is currently zoned institutional. They're working with the city to maximize its value for mixed use. They have filed an application for a zone change. We want to put out a product that will uh, have maybe some uh, limited uh, commercial, maybe an office building or so, and, and a lot of residential. And we think that would satisfy people in Villa Hills that because they don't really have any businesses to go to. In fact, the only brick and mortar business in Villa Hills is the Ameristop on Amsterdam Road. No bars, restaurants, or medical offices, just homes. A few homes that could soon lose the green space that's been behind them since long before the homes were there. And might lose some of their neighbors like the wild turkey that are everywhere you look around here out these, on these 82 acres. The zone change and potential sale would have no impact on Villa Madonna Academy or the Montessori School out here. Mayor Callery says the city would not support any type of industrial business here, only some retail and commercial, and as he said, a lot of residential. Reporting live, Villa Hills, even though it doesn't really look like it. <laughs> Joe Webb, Local 12 News. Brad? Oh, there are going to be some takers on this, Joe. The city's going to host a public hearing on the zone change on May 9th at River Ridge Elementary School at 6.30 p.m. The sisters are encouraging people who live in Villa Hills to come and make suggestions on how to develop the land. Did you like how that turkey puffed mm -hmm. up its feathers just right on 